Welcome everybody. Today we're going to show you how to get uh, VS Code and Ray Raylib working together. So the default in install for Raylib uses Notepad++. I kind of prefer VS Code. And so uh, getting it to work in the Raylib install, there's actually a folder for getting VS Code to work. Uh, it actually takes uh, a couple too many steps, I think. So um, this person, whoever this is, educates Nick Comares. Good on you from Sparta. Well done. Um, they've put together, in my opinion, a better template. So you can go over here, open with GitHub Desktop. I've already done this, uh, but um, basically you click there. It'll clone all of these files to your local computer. And then uh, that is here in my Raylib CPP starter template here. And what you're going to do is copy the VS Code directory. I'm ignoring these two. You might want to copy them if you don't. Um, if you don't have them already, um, mine's already kind of set up for, um, like my git ignore is set up to ignore all sorts of different things uh, so that I don't upload them accidentally. And my git attributes is set up to have a uh, git large file enabled uh, because git breaks if you have large binary files. And uh, if you use LFS, it substitutes the large binary files of the text file. And uh, then they charge you money for bandwidth, but at least it works. Um, GitHub and Git choke if you have a large banner file. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come into that downloaded starter template here. You're gonna copy the VS Code directory, maybe the DLLs, I don't know if you need those. Uh, the make file, the workspace, control C, come into your project and control V, I've already done it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip the, the paste. And then you're gonna right click and choose open with code. And so um, you do this, open with code in the current directory, then it's gonna ask you, hey, we've detected there is a workspace uh, found. Uh, do you want to open that? And you hit yes. And that kind of configures everything properly. Um, there's one thing that we need to do that uh, most people don't need to do. I use .cc as the, um, C++ extension for my code. Uh, people on Windows use CPP as the default extension. So the um, the make file inside of the um, template here assumes that you're using Windows conventions instead of Linux conventions. There's actually multiple different extensions that stand for C++. And somewhere within here, let's see if we can find it. We might want to also update the compiler version at some point. 14 is fine. Um, somewhere within here, it'll have a CPP. Yeah, I'm just going to front slash CPP. There it is, main.cpp. And we're going to change that to main.cc. Now, if you're using CPP at home, um, knock yourself out. So let's see if CPP shows up anywhere else in the code. Nope. OK. So that should do it. So I'm going to close out of the make file. I'm going to open up main.cc and I'm going to go to run and debug and hit that. And uh, no rule to make target CPP needed by main stop. Okay, so somewhere, uh, somewhere in the make file, uh, it might it might actually just be easier for us to rename. Here it is, obs start.cpp. Okay, so raylib path project name obs start.cpp. I thought we just Looked for that. Okay, make file again. Obs. CPP build mode. Where is where are you at? Project name. Obs. Is it not using that make file? Hmm. Final object files from source files. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, so it is looking in a different directory here. Uh, wouldn't it not be easier to change main.cc to main.cpp? Yeah, arguably, arguably. <laughs> it would be. Um, hmm. Somewhere, somewhere this is, somewhere we still got a CPP in there. I wonder if 
There it is. Unix, baby. There you go. I don't like the CPP, even though it's kind of the standard because uh, it's three letters instead of two. All right, so let's see. I got that. CPP debug, CPP debug. CPP standard, then we probably want to update that. All right, let's try that. Go back in, save on you. You go back into main.cc and run it. There we go. Boom. And there we go. That's it. It is now set up, and we can now use VS Code. Uh, basically, uh, you just make your changes inside of here, hit F5, and it'll launch it. So that is that is your homework for today. It is just getting VS Code to work with. Uh... Maybe I shouldn't have hit F5, but anyhow, <laughs> that's how you do it. So uh, not too bad. And uh, many thanks to uh, this guy, Educates, Nick Ramos, for setting up this template. It's a lot easier to work with. Uh, and if I had just used main.cpp instead of main.cc, it would have probably taken like seven less steps to get it set up. But I am I'm a Unix person through and through and uh, not a fan of Windows. And so I'm going to use main.cc instead of cpp. So there it is. That's it for today, guys. Thanks a lot.